Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Friday, September the 9th, 2011. And wanted to uh, call your attention to uh, gold and, and the gold stocks. And uh, this is a 21-day graph. And I put um, the gold miners uh, here in red up against the, uh, the GLD, uh, which uh, tracks gold, and also uh, the S&P 500. And uh, you'll see in this 21-day period that the gold stocks, uh, the GDX actually, which is a basket of, of, of the larger capitalization of gold stocks, uh, has led the charge with a 10% move uh, versus a 5.8% move for gold. So uh, almost double the, um, the upward move uh, by the gold miners versus gold. And uh, the um, stocks, as represented by the S&P 500, have actually lost ground 1.2 percent uh, they're down in the same period so what's uh, what is interesting is that uh, gold stocks have been lagging uh, the metal as the metal has charged higher and uh, we may be seeing uh, the first signs of, uh, of a turnaround and uh, this might be the point where the gold stocks do catch up with the move that the metals have made and here's a weekly chart of gold uh, you can see it breaking out here uh, in mid-July and making a uh, better than 20 uh, percent move here. And here is a weekly chart of the GDX uh, uh, which tracks the gold mining sector. And uh, you can see during the same period about mid-July it had a massive pullback here and then uh, has rallied up uh, since uh, breaking out of this uh, sort of sloppy cup with handle formation here uh, in mid-August. So we're just starting to poke ourselves back into some uh, new high ground here and uh, uh, on some good volume. So this might be the start of something. And some of the better gold uh, mining uh, companies, here's Rand Gold. Uh, this broke out of a double bottom base here uh, in mid-July with the gold market and ran up about 20 percent, 25 percent here. And also uh, broke out of a larger cup-shaped base um, here a couple of weeks ago and uh, came back down this week and tested the breakout and successfully rallied above that, gaining 3.4% this week. So Rand Gold, uh, something, uh, definitely a company to keep an eye on. And another uh, a gold miner I like is Royal Gold, been on a tear, uh, was in this channel here for <clears throat> most of the year and then broke out to the upside and is running very strongly right now, up almost 3% this week. Uh, super strong, getting support here at this red line, which is the four-week moving average. And uh, the pullbacks have not even taken it down to test the 10-week uh, moving average. So super strong uh, all summer long here. And here is ABX, uh, which is Barrick Gold, uh, one of the large uh, cap um, gold miners, one of the quality gold miners here. And this week was important because um, it got into new high ground, uh, taking out the 5561 level, uh, got as high as 5591. Uh, uh, to close it to 54.55, but it's significant that we did poke in a new high ground, and as you can see, it's been on a um, on a tear here, um, having uh, five up weeks in a row, and uh, this channel here that it's uh, moving up on has been in place uh, since June, so uh, Barrick uh, moving up strongly, and here is a chart, a weekly chart of the GDX which is the gold miners and um, you can see that it too uh, is in new high ground here um, volume has been good uh, we've had uh, five up weeks in a row as well so in general the gold miners are making a move here how far it will go we don't know but uh, the charts are looking good the breakout is looking strong